Hi, hi, Genki Call here. It is the week of August 9th, 2021, and a new campaign has begun. Yes, this is going to be awesome. So let's go over the campaign tasks. Thank you to Hawks and Gary for creating this. So four gold tasks. We have use a jewelry weapon 22 times and explore drifting sands five times at a uh, depth uh, D1. D1, explore one, level one, explore um, five times. So for silver tasks, we have complete three delves at level 20 plus, complete two adventure boards, could be a skip there, complete three treasure hunts with 60 plus turns, a lot of people are going to skip that one, and craft three brown summoning stones. For the bronze tasks, we have open 50 gold chests, open two event chests, get 13 brown kills, and use the dervish, dervish class for four wins, kill the great maw one time, match 90 brown gems in battle, use a vault key to kill one treasure gnome, that's not going to be a problem, use a drifting sand teams for four wins, get nine monster kills, and use the desert banner four times. S well, okay, for four wins. Anyway, it doesn't look too bad for this week, except for, of course, the treasure hunt and the complete two adventure boards. Depends on whether or not you're impatient. And, uh, you know, I have my moments where I am impatient. So let's get into the game here, and I will go over some more here. A lot of stuff I'm excited about here. But the first thing I want to do are some of my Monday tasks. So start off with going into my guild and spending my 700,000 gold. We're just going to grab this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In my guild, we limit ourselves to 700,000 gold per week, and then we go all in on Guild Wars week and do as many le legendary tasks as we can. So that is part one. However, I have an extra task this week, and that is to go into the seals and use my orbs. So I was not able to get, um, what's her name? The new mythic? The Astral Mother. The Astral Mother. I was unable to get her this last week. I still have a chance through Thursday. And um, I am helping my guild. I waited until today to use these, um, these orbs. Uh, so that I could help the guild get to 40,000 seals as quickly as possible so that we can have those leather level 6 chests and more chances at, myth at the mythic. So this helps everybody in the guild that hasn't had a chance to get the Astral Mother yet. And that includes myself. I need it too. Maybe I'll get lucky and find her before... Uh, I have to use these, but either way, this helps my my guild. So, and as you notice here, the um, the amount of seals that you're allowed is two thousand a week. It just increased this part. So um, I have what I grabbed from my orbs here, but I still have that two thousand that I. You don't lose out if you use your orbs. Is what I'm trying to say. All right, so that's two things. Next thing, very important, go to the shop, go to resources, and grab your spoils of war. You'll never get a better deal on event keys. And of course you get these other little things as well. So, we'll grab that. And then we're going to go to the weekly event, and we're going to get the Sky Scorpion. The Sky Scorpion is, yeah, you know? So, poison and drain seven mana from all enemies, then remove all skulls. That looks great until you read the last part, which is can only be cast once. I was thinking, hey, Scorpius, this will be great, but no, can only cast it once. And that kind of, to me, sucks because this was looking like it could be fun. Uh, poison enemies when doing skull damage recover one life at the start of each turn. And the air link, which is nice, an extra yellow mana each time you make yellow mana matches. Uh, so I will buy this up to l mythic level. You watch down here, it will say Mythic when I can get it there. There we go, Ascendable to Mythic. I want it at Mythic level because it's a guaranteed Mythic for Drifting Sands, which will help with power level. So, 
I will upgrade him after a while. Not in a hurry to do that right now. So campaign! Campaign! Okay, I'm really excited about campaign. So, the tasks we already went over um, at the start of the video. Now, for rewards, we've got... Um, we've got a... Well, if you buy the Elite Pass, you've got a guaranteed level 20 pet as long as you complete all of the tasks. As usual, we've... What was that? Is that a weapon? Ooh, it creates potions. Hey. Ooh. I don't like the either, though. Or, though. Oh, gain an extra turn. Oh, that makes it much better. Okay, so it's going to create potions. Now, potions are why I've been excited about um, this new campaign starting. That is our new heroic gem, and potions are really cool and I can't believe there isn't something here that says what a potion is but I guess it, it just assumes we're going to know so I think it creates 7 to 11 something like that I can't remember now it creates a bunch of that color of gem so say you match a blue potion with blue you're going to get a bunch more blue gems on the board so this actually looks promising to me um let me see let me see oh this is nice and let's look at the mythic which is up here somewhere oh we've got the star the star is going to be coming out during this campaign give magic to a random ally seven percent chance for an extra turn for each yellow gem on the board um, game one armor, blah blah blah. Gra grant a random status effect to a random ally when an ally casts a spell. That's nice. Uh, let's get to this. The Fountain of Stars is the new mythic that is coming out at the end of this campaign. Convert five green gems to purple potions and all brown gems to skulls. Cleanse all fa fey allies. That's interesting. It looks like it could be good. I love that it it's too bad this isn't Doom Skulls. That would be even better. But we've got um, one purple, one life for each purple ally. Reduce damage from skulls by 50% and 15% chance to bless all allies when my turn begins. So negative status effects would be gone. Uh, oh, and the artifact. So once we finish all of the campaign tasks for today, then we will have plus five to armor. So that is the buff that we will get this week. I'm not in a hurry for it, so I don't know if I'm going to skip any tasks. I may just be patient and wait uh, for the adventure board to reset tomorrow to finish up this week's campaign. We'll see. I'm not sure yet, but let's go ahead and do a couple of these. It says complete a delve at level 20 or higher. Oh yes, it does say zero of three. So I have one for certain ready to go here. So I had this, um, I got this ready yesterday. And this team is messed up. Hmm. Yay, seven to 11, I remembered it right, woohoo! Seven to 11 gems matching their potion color. Ah, I'm so excited about these gems, they're gonna be so fun. And you know, I may end up, you know, regretting those words later. If you blow it up, it still creates the gems. Oh, that's good to know. Cool. All right. So, it's something that can be greatly beneficial to your team. Of course, it could also be beneficial for the other team. But, you know, it adds an extra layer of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tactics and thinking and planning to your game, and I like that. Um, like Canterpy Gems, not so much, because either way, you are going to get a negative effect from it, whether you cast it on them or they cast it on you. Like Canterpy Gems just are never going to be good for you. I say never, but um, anyway, I'm just going to bank this scroll for now, and let's go open some chests. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and do the other delves right now. I have things to do. 
All right, so much to do. It's Monday. Come on, I've got lots to do. So games, not games. My bad. Uh, we are going to go to... Come on, I think. Chests. Chests is what I mean. Gold keys. We use 50 of those. Boop. And got a couple gems, some gold, some glory. That's always nice. And get that cleared off. Uh, two event chests. We'll go ahead and do that. Only two. Because um, I have every single Drifting Sands troop. Now, since we're talking about Drifting Sands, let's talk about which troops you can get from your event keys this week. Let's go in here. I have this sorted to Drifting Sands already. Everything you see here is something that you can get from your event keys, except Queen Beatrix, the Scarab Knight, and the Moth Mage, and the Beetle Blade. Those four troops come from the Deep Hive, which is the faction that is connected to Drifting Sands. You have to use Chaos Shards to get those four. So let's talk about these mythics that you can get from this week. To start with, we have Scorpius, um, who will insta-kill any poisoned enemy that he hits. Um, this is fantastic. This is why I was thinking, hey, I could pair that new troop with Scorpius. That would be cool, except that it can only cast once, which kind of, you know, sucks. But um, he does damage to them, whether or not they're poisoned. If they are poisoned, he will insta-kill them. Um, some troops are immune to poison. You just have to curse them or stun them and then you can poison them or just take them out another way. As far as traits, he is impervious as he is one of those troops that can't be poisoned. Um, he poisons enemies when doing skull damage if he happens to end up at the front of the team and then all brown, brown allies gain one to all stats at the start of each turn. This is something that was really powerful with the newest, not newest, newer mythic uh, the Archduke? Archduke, I think his name was. Because it kept adding to its magic every turn. And the more magic he had, the more chance he was going to insta-kill. But anyway, uh, that is beside the point. Shibanu Vespera. I like Shibanu. She is fun. Um, now, the teams that use her, they're a little slow, but once they get going, they loop, and they loop, and they loop, and they loop. And if you're using her with Finesse or something like the Winter Imp, um, that can... Mm, pardon me. Or something like Finesse, uh, Finesse or the Winter Imp that gains something every time there's a match for or with the winter imp it's every time you match blue it makes those stats go up and up and up and up where you can just one shot the other team uh let's see obregonia i think i just got this troop this last week uh, i've never used it obviously but uh so i can't really say anything about obregonia because i have never used it um but i don't know the Great Maw is something that can be used in place of High King Iron Gut um, in Delves. Uh, it can only cast once, but you devour once and then you have it as a tank at the front of the team. And then uh, whenever you make skull matches, its skills are going up and up. Plus, match four plus, you get two life every time. And you gain attack every time it takes damage. So um, some people like to use it for that reason. I have not ever done that, but I have heard others say that they have done that and that it's very effective. So it is an option if you don't have High King Iron Gut yet and want to try the Devourer route. The trolls are very useful, um, if, especially if you need lots of yellow. This is just like the forest troll that creates all that green, except this one creates yellow. 
and then he's going to get a little bit more powerful on every five match plus he recovers three life at the start of each turn and he also can do double damage uh, versus stunned enemies um dragon cruncher looks like fun to me but i've never actually used him so i can't really say uh, I forget that I have him, and how often do I go up against dragons, so... Um, but it's Saguaro now. Saguaro is interesting. Um, he does damage to the two weakest enemy, and then he gains 10 life and attack. He's really nice for events, I have found in the past. He has the infernal armor, and he reflects 25% of skull damage. He's immune to devour, and... Deal 3 damage to all enemies when I match skulls. So he's doing a little bit of damage to all of them if he happens to be at the front and matches some skulls. Um, Ifrit. Well, I can't really... Oh, Sunita can be, can be nice. It does true damage. Uh, not really sure what the point of enraging them is because... That makes them more powerful. But if they're at the l at the far back end of the uh, of the queue on the enemies, enrage won't do them any good because they won't ever be using skulls. Um, and then deal one damage to all enemies when I match skulls. Cannot oh it's stealthy. Cannot be targeted by spells. Now the ancient golem. You've probably f faced this guy in uh, delves multiple times. He does true damage as well and it's boosted by blue gems that are destroyed so if you destroy four blue gems for instance when you explode a skull you get an extra 14 damage because of the times four boost ratio also he summons a dust storm when an enemy dies and uh, he has his immunities and allied constructs gain two life so let me see anything else interesting here the sand shark is a pain to fight because he can devour um the sand runner is interesting so this is actually pretty good to use in um the class trial for drifting sands because he starts with 75 percent mana and he hits damage to the first and last enemies and uh deals double damage to a random enemy so it's hitting for me, 21, 21, 42. So that's pretty cool. Um, Trihorn is a pain. Agave um, is, uh, eh, you know, it's kind of situational. Um, Dust Devil is definitely one that you're going to want to get. If you don't have the Dust Devil, you definitely want this one. Doesn't look like much, does it? However, with, um, with Iron Hawk, it is using this guy is one of the fastest explorer teams, if not the fastest explorer team currently available in the game. Um, and that's because he's empowered. So, let's see. Yeah, Rock makes a good um, tank. He's good for um, Arena, basically, is the only place I'd ever use him. Sand Scuttler, also, same exact thing. Good in Arena, otherwise, you know, not so much. But that's what we've got in the drop table for Event Keys this week. Let's see, what else do we have? Ah, offers. So, somebody has asked me in the past about the daily offers and they are randomized they're random for one thing and they're also tailored to the person that is currently playing and it depends on where you are in the game what your resources it are for instance if you're lower level you're going to be getting trait stone offers now and then i don't ever get them anymore because i have a lot of trait sto stones i do need pets for upgrading my kingdoms and um, I don't ever do this deal because it seems like a really incredibly bad deal to me to pay 200 gems for five gem keys. Um, you know, if I was desperate, I might do it, but the pet ones I always do because um, the pets, I always need those. And um, 
you know, I, I don't know if the pet office will stop once I have them all to level 20, but that is going to be probably years down the road. Um, I'm nowhere near having all of them at level 20 at this point. So let me see, am I forgetting anything else? I did my tasks and I'm gonna grab my rewards here. Let's see, is there anything else? Ah, we have the adventure board to do. Uh, one of the campaign tasks is to do the adventure board. We also have the dungeon. Don't be, uh, I mean, be sure not to miss your gem bounty for the day if you can afford it. Sundays are the best day. If that's the only day you can afford it, do it on Sundays. But otherwise, if you can do it every day, it's really going to help you with your diamonds. And that reminds me, we've got good stuff in the Soul Forge. I am going to make a Soul Forge video to go over these things specifically, but I do want to point out a few things because I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that right away. There are some good things in here. Um, the Arachnian Weaver and the Lord of Slaughter especially, and then also um, the other one of really of note is the Doomed Axe. So I believe that is everything that I was wanting to go over for this video. I still have the Soul Forge video to do and I have the weekly event video to do. So I will get those to you as soon as I can. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I am trying to work out something special for um, the fact that we have reached 500 members on the channel. I don't have anything just yet, but I'm working on it. I should have it for you later this week. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.